Commander. Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. They couldn't even wait for me. <laughs> We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth, as the first Council world hit by our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own world will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect it's you to follow me this start. plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hack. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I mean, do you have a better plan? I'll be standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Yeah, that was so vague. I mean, they are interested in helping. It's not like they're saying no, but they're kind of looking at the immediate factors rather than looking at the long term. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. That's a point. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. 
and various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, well that's good. That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. The Council. To save their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna actually hear that one What's more time. What's your read on the counselors? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Right, so she's is concerned about Asari space. Like wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And mm -hmm. They're scared. I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. And yeah, we'll help out that Turian. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. And with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. Okay. I should go. I'll be here. Alright, wow, so this is like one, pretty much the first time we've actually seen eye to eye with Odina. Okay, that's the, uh... Alright, let's uh, actually see if Bailey has anything else to say, because when we spoke with him, that was a cutscene, I think. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Yeah, let's see what he has to say about the war and all. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Uh, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. No, oh, that's interesting. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seems like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. 
Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and, and a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. No, that's interesting. I mean, he has a son and daughter, I mean. And uh, Earth's going down, so he's, he's, he's pretty calm. Definitely composed. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. Yeah, good talking to you, Bailey. Well, let's go back. I think that reporter is here now. Maybe not. Oh, here she is. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Of course they do. I just wouldn't want to talk to you about them. But all right, let's do it. Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bentstein and Algerani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? <laughs> How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Oh, she was ready for that one. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your question. Stay down. Yeah, she was just going to make us look bad. I mean, like anyone who's, you know, is actually wants to know the truth and you know is trying to stay up to date with what's going on knows that you know we're fighting you know on the good side let's see who this here is oh it's james we don't know too much about him liara told me the council's not interested in helping us something like that <laughs> why would they look at this place there's no war here people are whispering about it they're talking about it but they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful, but it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful, once. What was it, really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth is some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud, you were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Hmm, that's interesting. He kind of remains, uh, reminds me of Jacob. You know, he says what's on his mind. Yeah, so what's our mission here? I think we're going to save that guy, but... Uh, okay, uh, Volus Diplomat needs a Protein op um, Obelisk. 
recover it from the strike abyss abyssal and deliver it to him at the citadel embassy okay so that was that guy uh talking i guess um okay so this is the mis mission primarch the dorian of the turian hierarchy has called a war summit that presents an opportunity for the alliance to request help building the crucible unfortunately fedorian was caught in the reaper attack on palavin rescue the Torian pri um, primarch from palavin's moon okay yeah so we'll go do that and um yeah we'll do this uh whenever this is probably a secondary mission but maybe not who knows All right, so what else can we do here? Please select a destination. Um, I doubt that there's any progression on Ashley's front, but you know what, let's just check it out. All right. What is this? Serta supplies? Oh, okay, yeah, metagel capacity increased by one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that now. Grown the citadels. Hydroponic gardens. Hydroponic gardens. So these sweets are suitable only for levo amino acid based life forms. Not sure who that includes. Probably not us. The works of Rumi, a 13th century earth poet. Interesting. Okay, so these are books. Not sure if we should buy them or not, but. I wonder where this would even go. Maybe we have like uh, our quarters on the Normandy, probably. But yeah, we'll come back to that. Um, you know, when we have a bit more funds. Yeah, no, this is still close. All right, let's head back to the Normandy. And we actually haven't seen the Normandy yet, I mean, from the inside, that is. Uh, we haven't been able to, like, you know, walk around it. wonder if the, that's, it's been changed or not. All right. Look at that collector. Oh, that's cool. So, um, uh, they got the uh, lions uh, logo on there now. It's not Cerberus anymore. All right, let's return.
what's going on here. Is that... That's that kid, I think. We might be on Earth right now. Um, definitely going in slow motion. Looks like he's crying now. I think we're remembering back to, uh, when the kid, uh, when the Reaper destroyed that ship that the kid was on. Definitely a dream though. They are. Can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? Definitely been better. To call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Um. Yeah. Everyone back home. <laughs> Reaper invasion. Pretty much when everything. The Reapers hit. I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard? I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. Jeremy sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Got it, Edie. But wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Huh. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie sounds Edie, different. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive <laughs> your voice huh. was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Nice. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Is Kelly there? 
The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. All right, sounds good. Uh, don't know what this place here is. Uh, so war assets, the people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively uh, these assets will perform in the final battle. Okay. So this is like the research lab maybe? Like in Mass Effect 2? Uh, so the Systems Alliance represents humanity's economic, political, and military reach throughout the galaxy. Its naval forces are led by Admiral uh, Stephen Hackett. Uh, so we have, so these are our resources, I guess. Uh, we recently got Diana Allers. Okay. All right, let's go check out the rest of the ship. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and take a break, and when we come back, we will uh, explore the rest of the ship. Uh, say hi to Chakwas and everyone else that we got. Um, Alright guys, bye.